Another big story this Monday, North Country leaders are worried about a domino effect of economic troubles if a North Country prison closes. The State Department of Corrections announced it plans to shutter the Clinton Correctional Facility Annex. Now that's an extension of the main facility in Dannemora. It operates as a maximum security prison. Local 44's Devin Bates joins us live in the newsroom tonight with a look at some of the pushback this decision has already been met with in the North Country. Yeah, Lauren, elected officials on both sides of the aisle in the North Country have come out against this closure today, and they're taking particular concern with the impact this will have on the employees of the Clinton Annex and their families. Four days before Christmas, what a punch in the gut. Now, I know Department of Corrections have said that there's not going to be any job loss, but there certainly will be some job relocation out of this. And um, whenever you have that, that upsets um, that employee and certainly is a huge disruption um, to their families. Democratic Assemblyman Billy Jones is one of many bipartisan voices in the North Country sounding off on the decision to close the Clinton Correctional Facility Annex. The main facility won't be impacted and employees' jobs are reportedly safe, but Dannemora Town Supervisor Bill Chase said that doesn't mean the estimated 300 employees won't be affected in some way. Devastating to the local economy, uh, bad news for the village, bad news for the county, bad news for the town. Got teachers there, they've got uh, maintenance people, you know, food service people. It's gonna, like, with Watertown closing, uh, the effect is gonna be far reaching. As Chase mentioned, the Clinton Annex isn't the only state prison now slated to shut down at the end of March. Medium security facilities in Gowanda and Watertown will close as well. Other North Country lawmakers taking a stand against these changes include Republican Congresswoman Elise Stefanik. State Senator-elect Dan Steck, who will take over for retiring State Senator Betty Little in January. Little noted that she's seen several North Country prisons close throughout her nine terms in office. Every one of these buildings are still empty. There is no reuse. If I could have seen one success yet with some of the places that have already been closed, I might feel differently, but we've had no success and doing anything else with them. As you might imagine, a key Empire State Union that represents corrections officers has come out against the closures, doing so immediately after the word came down from Governor Andrew Cuomo's administration. The governor called for facility closures back in January, and obviously, you know, COVID hit. And, um, you know, we've had, uh, we attempted to have dialogue back and forth with the department um, and the, the governor and the state legislature, which fell on deaf ears. This all comes as New York State currently faces a budget deficit of nearly $9 billion. 17 New York prisons have been shuttered since 2011, and the prison population has shrunk by 39% in that time. Live in the newsroom tonight, Devin Bates, Local 44 News.